Usher's new video, Rihanna's new move, and who's the hottest couple in Hollywood? I'm talking about it right now on The Drop. What's up, I'm Cynthia Luciette. So Jay Snow is still out sick and you can still send him some love to his Twitter, at Jay Snow Pro. He texted me this morning and told me to keep his spirit alive like Tupac, so that's what I'm trying to do. Send him some love, get better. In the meantime, Usher Baby released a video for his new single, Good Kisser, which is off of his new album, which is yet to be titled and allegedly dropping this fall. Nobody knows. But here's a clip of the video. I think that she a winner, she could be a keeper, cause she's such a good Okay, right here, right now. Let's be honest. I haven't liked one of Usher's albums better than his Confessions album. You know what? I don't think that's ever gonna change. So, like a lot of people, I don't get too hyped when a new Usher track drops. I'm just like, eh, it's on the radio, whatever. But in this video, I said in this video, I'm reminded of how hot Usher can actually be. From the shirtless drum playing, to the dance moves, to the seductive eye glances directly into camera, I'm all in this video. So, Usher, hey, guess what? I'm actually excited about your new Mysterious album and I'm be looking forward to seeing what you're dropping next, okay? Because you, sir, are still hotter than a heifer on a sunny Sunday morning. Whatever the hell that means. Next, Rihanna left her longtime record label Def Jam to go literally down the street to Rock Nation. Now you know Rock Nation used to be under Def Jam, but it is not that way anymore. No one made an announcement or a big deal out of it, just a couple of nosy ass journalists happened to notice that Rock Nation updated their roster list to include Rihanna, and then Def Jam updated their website to put Rihanna in their legacy section, AKA the people who used to be on our label and they were really dope, but they left us to go somewhere else. It's just how people handle breakups in 2014. They just unfollow each other on the internet. This decision totally makes sense to me. Jay-Z found Rihanna, he discovered her, put her on. Remember she came out with that Ponda replay? And I was like, oh, she's such a nice, wholesome-ish girl. And then it just like started to go to slut build. I'm okay with this decision, but I do feel like Rihanna has to be aware. Rock Nation's budget for promo is probably way smaller than Def Jam. And although Rihanna is like a bona fide superstar at this point, I don't know if she can just do the Beyonce drop an album with no promo thing. But then again, maybe that's why she's dating Drake. You know, free promo for whatever project she's about to put out next. That has to be the reason, because it sure as hell isn't because she likes him, because she always looks so damn bored whenever they're together. Lastly, the 2014 Met Gala went down last night in New York City. Now, you know, this is the night that celebrities like to come out and flex. I mean, they spent $25,000 just on tickets to get into the event. I don't even want to think about how much the tab is for the clothes that they wear. I wouldn't mind if it was going to a real charity or a cause that would change the world, but it's just for the Metropo what is this? It's for the, the Metropolitan Museum of Arts and Costume Institute. I don't know what that is, but I do know that it is not feeding starving children around the world. It's something to do with fashion and art and the industry and who knows, like it has enough money already, okay? But everyone showed up last night. Of course you had Rihanna, I hated her hair so much. Frank Ocean, Blake Lively, Lupita, Taylor Swift, this girl who I don't know, but evidently has $25,000 to spend on the ticket. And all the couples shut it down. J and B loved their outfit, hated the thing over Beyonce's face. Kim and Kanye looked way more normal than normal, which I really liked, but also kind of was disappointed by at the same time. And then you have ASAP Rocky and Chanel Ma. Now separately, they looked good, but together, they just looked like they were going to prom. So it's a tough call. I don't know who quite looked the best out of all the couples. So I want to take a poll. Post a comment below, which couple do you think looked the best? Post it now and also like this video. All right, now it's time for Ask the Drop. Today's question comes from Jaylene Wilder. They said, Ask the Drop, would you live in the south side of Chicago for a year for a million dollars? Absolutely. There's just certain rules that you have to follow like to live in the hood. Like it's not that bad. I, I can survive, trust me. You just gotta go in before it gets dark outside. As soon as it turns summer and it starts to get warm and everybody's out and about, trouble's gonna start. Stay your ass in the house. Don't go to ratchet ass functions or house parties. You'll be good. Like people be doing the most. They be doing the most. But summer is about to turn up in Chirac. Please everybody be safe for the love of God. If you have a question that you want us to answer, then use the hashtag AskTheDrop. Post it in the comments below. Also make sure you subscribe to All Deaf Digital and then come back tomorrow, same place, so you can get more of the drop. I'm Cynthia Luciette. Thanks for watching.